All right, I just have a quick little light show to show tonight here. I've got uh, Johnny Davros pan oscillator running here, and I've got it running on a 12 volt battery tonight. And I'm going through a variable uh, resistor a rheostat, 25 ohm rheostat, turned uh, way down. And then I'm going through a 22 ohm, a 22 micro Henry choke that one of my uh, uh, viewers suggested I try. And then I'm going through this little bulb here to uh, help knock down some of the the uh, load on this because uh, I don't want to burn out these transistors if I can help it. And I put a couple of them in there to try to carry the load. And uh, this is, uh, I guess, working because I can touch these and they're not overheating. And I would think they would overheat. Uh, and it probably will with time, but anyway, it is running. And uh, I've got a couple of FLs lit up there off these pans, and I've got this uh, this uh, neon here, 110 volt neon running too. But this was the big news tonight. This is one of these Lights of America LEDs, and Gina's the one that turned me on to this, along with some other people working on another project. And watch this. I've got this wired to a pan here and then uh, it's going from the socket to this chunk of aluminum this is like the ground plane and it runs it and I just thought that was amazing that uh, I can run one of these lights one of these uh, standard lights it's it's not modified that's just a standard uh, um, candelera bulb lights of America candelera bulb and uh, it'll work. It'll work off this uh, pan oscillator, which I thought was real interesting. And the uh, circuit in there, I guess, is such that if you have a high enough voltage, you can get these things to work uh, on these LED low wattage bulbs. And uh, these uh, FLs are still working, too which I thought was real interesting that uh, you can run all this stuff together and not blow up your transistors if you do it right. Now I'm going to turn this on here again and I'm going to crank the voltage up a little bit. You should be able to see this get brighter. It's kind of hard because the camera's compensating here. But uh, maybe on the FLs you can see it. No, it's not coming out either. But as I crank up on this rheostat, everything gets a lot brighter. You can see it on that bulb right down there. By the way, this bulb's kind of neat because it adds light to the whole scenario. <laughs> it's doing what I want to do and, and uh, show me how much amp draw, which is quite a bit. It's probably three to 500 milliamps. That's a lot. But uh, I am getting a lot of light out of this for that. And I seem to be able to handle it with these little uh, transistors. These are MPSA06 NPN transistors. There are two of them right in the parallel. That's the 4KV trigger coil. And then these two pans and uh, it's running away and I've still got the the wireless energy thing going on here too and this is happening all over still so uh, this phenomena is uh, still going on anyway that's the light show for tonight the uh, LED uh, standard off-the-shelf LED running on Johnny Davros pan oscillator pretty neat stuff